Kumusta? Ako si Albine, ang inyong approachable teacher. In this episode, we will talk about the root word tanong. And also, I will help you understand how Tagalog root words can be conjugated. Are you ready? Let's begin. Our concern is the root word tanong. Tanong in English is question. But before we proceed, let us understand what are the aspects where tanong may arise. First, there's a person who raises the question. And on the other end, there's one person who can provide the answer. Another way to look at it is this way. There's one person who asks about something. And then, there's another person who can provide the information. This is something that's being asked about. And then, this is the information that's meant to be received by the person who asks. There are instances when this end is more than one person. Same thing at the other end, they can be more than one. But of course, it also happens when there's just one person who asks about something as the other end is many. Likewise, there could be just one person who can provide information to many. There are also instances when questioning happens at a certain place. The person asking can either be many or just one. Sagot or tugon in English is answer. Now, let me give you examples of tanong in a sentence. First, we have, Heto po ang tanong ko. Anong oras na? In English, you would say, This is my question. What time is it? Heto is for this. Tanong is for question. Ko is for my. Ano is for what. Oras is for time. Second example, we have Kung wala ka ng tanong, pwede ka nang umuwi. Kung wala ka ng tanong, Pwede ka nang umuwi. In English, you would say, Should you have no more questions, you may go. Or, you would say, Should you have no more questions, you may go home. Wala, no, or no more. Tanong, for questions, Puede for may, ka for you, umuwi for go home. Going back to our aspect diagram, let me demonstrate further. Let's call the person in the left as person 1. While person in the right we call person Two. Person 1 said, Heto po 
ang tanong ko? Anong oras na? Oras is the information that person one wants to find out. Tanong is coming from person one. And this tanong is directed to person two. Moving on, out of the root word tanong, we can come up with a question, what nouns can be derived from the root word tanong? Is it not exciting? Let's find out. The process can be done through the use of affixes. A couple of these affixes are ka and an. For the root word tanong, we want to change the vowel o into u. We want to change the vowel o into you. So from tanong, it becomes tanung. As far as I personally gathered, as of this time, this rule applies to most of the root words with last syllable of vowel o. So from tanong, it became Tanung. Next, what you want to do is apply the prefix ka and also the suffix an and then you have arrived to a new word katanungan. Katanungan. Now, let's find something more. How about tanong versus katanungan? What's the difference? Tanong and katanungan both have the same meaning. Question, inquiry, or enquiry. However, Tanong can be casual as katanungan is formal. Let me give you some example of a sentence with tanong and katanungan. First, we have, kung wala ka ng katanungan, pwede ka nang umuwi. And that's formal. Another thing we have, kung wala ka ng tanong, pwede ka nang umuwi. And so that's informal or casual. These two sentences both have the same meaning or the same translation in English as, Should you have more questions, you may go. Or, should you have more questions, you may go home. Did you find it easy? I hope so. Next, let me introduce the word katanungan. Again, I repeat, this is the word katanungan. Earlier, we have katanungan. Katanungan. And this word is ka. Katanungan. Katanungan versus katanungan. Let's find the difference. Katanungan means someone who you exchange questions with. Let's draw some examples. Kung wala ka ng katanungan, pwede ka nang umuwi. Si Joey ay katanungan ko. Siya ay palatawa. I repeat, si Joey ay katanungan ko. Siya ay 
palatawa. How do you say that in English? Here you go. Joey is the person I exchange questions with. He laughs a lot. Person refers to ka tanungan or person I exchange questions with ka tanungan. Love loves a lot means palatawa or palatawa means loves a lot in English. Again, let's return to our aspect diagram. In this regard, both questions and answers flow in a two-way direction. Again, both questions and answers flow in a two-way direction. The question may flow from person 1 to person 2 or vice versa. Likewise, the answer may flow from person 1 to person 2 or the other way around. In other words, katanungan can be defined as a relationship between two persons asking questions among each other. I'll repeat, katanungan can be defined as a relationship between two persons asking questions among each other. To support this definition, I can say that person 1 can ask question to person 2 and also person 2 can ask question to person 1. At this point, I need to cut this presentation short. I'll be making a series of videos on the root word tanong. This is the first of that series. So, there's more video tutorials that you can watch out for. Did you hear that? There's a whole bunch of nouns that we can derive out of the root word tanong. Plus, I'll be presenting to you adjectives and verbs that can be conjugated out of this root word. I hope that you find this episode helpful. If you do, please hit the like button and also don't forget to subscribe and then hit the bell button so that you get notifications when a new video is uploaded. Also, I will be happy if you will share this episode to your friends and family so Pori Noise and Pori Nice will grow in number. To wrap up this episode, let me tell you that aspect diagram is a way to understand various participants, objects, or places affecting communication and therefore it helps learners Pori Noise and Pori Nice visualize the results of Tagalog word conjugations. And then, we found few answers to the questions, what nouns can be derived from the root word tanong? And of course, there will be more. I will see you again. Maraming salamat for watching this video. Hanggang sa muli, mabuhay!